All right. So remember, sometime last year, one of our kits that we did, it was the uh, hidden forest floor. And we were going to make a little fairy to go with that kit. And we said that we would do it later on. Well, you know, time goes by and, you know, we've done a lot of different things in the interim. So we decided, I decided, you guys helped decide for me, <laughs> that we were going to do this in April. So I put the uh, pre-sale out there because I had not created um, the doll and the kit and all that stuff and the video because I'm going to show you how to put it together. Um, and so I finally got that all put together. Took me a minute. We've been having storms and all kinds of stuff. Won't go into all the details. But here is our little hidden forest floor little doll. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can finish off this doll. Uh, I'm going to um, help you put it together um, in the kit. There's a lot of different things that can help embellish it. And so as you uh, view the video, you'll, you'll see the different ways that you can finish her off. So let me show you um, what is going to come in the kit. Let's see if she doesn't fall over. <laughs> um, I have a bunch of moss that I decided to put on her head, but it can go on, you know, wherever you decide it's going to go. Um, that's the beauty of it. It's all your own design. I have some flowers. I thought having a, a like a little crown of flowers around her head would look kind of cute. You're going to get, um, it's a, you know, a rubber, not rubber, plastic, I'm not sure what that is, um, doll face that we're going to work on. Some tulle in case you want to make her a little dress, a little ballerina type dress on the bottom, or you want to put it on her head, whatever you want to do. Oops, here's some more little flowers. Then what I did with um, the sample one here, I used this um, cotton head and um, glued that on her head. And then I also included these shavings, tree shavings. And you'll see some of the things I suggest you can do also in the video. And then here is some gauze. You'll see different ways we can use it. I ended up putting it on the skirt, but there's other things that you can do with it. We'll go through that. There's going to be some fabric in there. Um, everybody's going to get something different because I just threw in different scraps that I had. But you'll be able to use that in various ways. And then you'll get a large piece of muslin for the body and then the pattern and then also when we did the hidden forest floor we did some mushrooms so i'm going to include the pattern for the mushrooms in case you didn't um, get that kit and then uh, the video you're going to get with this um, kit will be for making the doll if you decide you want to make the mushrooms that's already there in my um, youtube um, I'll try to remember to put a link in there also for you. We did that over a period of time last year. So I think this will be fun putting this together. There's a lot of possibilities. And so if you think you want to make her and add it to your, um, your hidden forest floor or start a hidden forest floor, <laughs> um, now's the time. And I just put a little piece of the logwood ribbon on her. And I still have a couple of those um, fabric, hand, I mean, um, natural dyed logwood fabric and uh, paper packs. They're in, I think I maybe have one or two left, not sure. Anyway, so if you want to grab one of those. And then I also have um, in the... Um, in the Etsy shop, some uh, little small packs of grungy papers. 
So if I know several had asked for some and they're in the shop right now. Alrighty, have fun. She's a really cutie patootie. So um, I think we'll have a lot of fun putting these together and I know you will for sure. All right, thanks.